hello people on youtube this is your average fat gamer you know we come in all sizes and shape i'm the round size my name is rage and thank you for watching this video this is a quick update on the alexander computer i know a lot of you've been asking for that about 10 of you in my comments and about three of you subscribe so thank i appreciate that eight of you liked the video i think not really sure but two thousand of you saw the video and i do appreciate all those views my voice was heard and i have a very self-conscious mind about my voice i'm stuck in between america and mexico i'm not gonna tell you where but I'm stuck in between the border. So I'm, I hear a lot of yeehaw and I hear a lot of a hey, way. So my accent, you know, I hate watching my videos because I start worrying about my accent. You know, I used to work in a call center and they were like, yo, can I speak to somebody from America? And I'm like, how racist, bro? No, nah, like, no, we're not going to do that. We're not talking about race. But I'm just saying, though, because of my accent, even though I was born in America, they still think I'm like Filipino or something. So anyways, here's the update. So about the beginning of the year, maybe the end of last year, I can't really remember. There was I was having overheating issues and it wasn't a build issue. It wasn't a quality assurance issue. It was a hardware issue from a manufacturer that they use. I'm not going to say the name because I don't think I could do that and I don't want to get sued. I don't have money to get sued. The computer had a issue with the radiator where the radiator or the watering solution was not saluting and it was causing a blockage because there was mold and mildew being built in between a crevice that goes in between the CPU and the water pump and it, it was overheating. I communicated to Alexander PC and um, they were like, well you know do this install that run this diagnostics run the stress test tell me the temperatures etc etc um i only noticed the crashes when i was playing heavy intensive games like uh, i think at the time dying light 2 had really came out so that was a crash like after 45 minutes and i guess that's how they knew that it was an overheating issue because after like a certain amount of time it would just crash the game and go straight to desktop <laughs> but uh i did mess up so because of my mistake i can now tell you guys how not to do this mistake because what happened was i thought i could watch that gamers nexus video about how to mount the radiator and how it's preferred to be in the front so that the water stays above the pump and not like like blood or choke or drown i mean it's liquid right what's the proper word so uh so yeah i front mounted it i sent him a picture and then i sent him a stress test where the temperatures did not go above 45 degrees they said yay you fixed it but guess what you messed with the the, the, the radiator you were not, not supposed to touch that you're not supposed to do that at all you messed up and now you voided your warranty and i was like oh my god did i really they were like yeah you did and for that you will pay and i was like no why do that to me i didn't know i thought it was just you know moving one thing from the top so i wouldn't have to send it to you i spent money on this computer i didn't want to send it to you I wanted to try to fix it myself because that's what we do as men. We try to think we're not critical thinkers. We're problem solvers. And they were like, just kidding. We'll go ahead and re and send you a new unit. But seriously, don't touch nothing next time. Next time, if you have a warranty issue, go ahead and communicate to us and we'll fix it. That's what we're here for. That's why we give you guys warranty. And I was like, thank you. I appreciate that. So they gave me three options to pick between the Kraken with the nice display and the Lee and Lee. But those unfortunately come at a higher price than the MSI Magcore. Oh my God. And uh, no, delete that. But those unfortunately come with a higher price than the radiator that came with the computer. So I was like, nah, just go ahead and send the other one. And, uh, or not the other one, but the one that came with Peter. So they did that. And I was like, oh, look at that. I got it. Wouldn't you know it though? This manufacturer knew that it was an issue. And apparently there was a whole recall on those radiators. So I, on the new box, it says V2 on it, like version two. So hopefully I won't have this logging issue with mold and mildew. Hopefully the AIO will AIO and AIO the CPU into a cooler thing when I'm gaming. And uh, I do feel like I didn't catch it in time because now there's like certain issues. Like, XM, like if I enabled the overclock that... I, uh, uh, Alexander sent the computer with and if I enable XMP they uh it freezes the computer still so there's like an issue where I feel like it's connected to the overheating like maybe my MSI uh motherboard it might be messed up now uh, because of the heat but I'm not very hardware savvy like I know how things run but I'm not like that kind of, that not like that savvy for that kind of stuff <laughs> but I digress uh Alexander Alexander is a good company and they reply the customer service is great they do reply back I am not sponsored by them in any way so this is coming from what I believe if you guys are on the fence go ahead and purchase from alexander pc they will help you out if you guys have any issues with your computer again don't touch nothing keep uh just notify them of the situation i know it's hard to stay away from your games and uh three thousand four thousand dollar computer i know it's hard to invest and risk that stuff but i mean like playstation 5 uh limit laws with cars everything is there because not everything comes out perfect not even us you know we're not all symmetrical except me i'm gorgeous but i do weigh like six hundred thousand pounds so you know that's the only reason why i'm not married and my wife won't touch me um, 
um so uh just keep that in mind uh they will i mean not gonna lie they sometimes do forget about my email so i have to be like yo still here so that they could be like oh hey forgot what's up guys so just keep that in mind i mean i'm pretty they're a small company i understand why they might not follow through all the time but it was a pretty quick crop uh it was a pretty quick crop it was a pretty quick process it was a pretty quick crop it was a pretty quick process with me and uh one thing i will mention i did not have to send the computer back for them they did tell me though like if you feel confident that you can replace it go ahead and replace it we'll send you the item for you to replace and i was like i, I feel like i could do it so they sent the radiator and the pump or the aio and they sent the thermal paint and i fixed it myself i don't know if they'll do that for every part uh maybe like something that they think that you know like we can't risk it like maybe a power supply but for this they were they did just send it to me for me to replace myself so that's the quick update thank you for watching this video if you did like the video like the video there's a thumbs but under the video somewhere i think click on it and there's gonna be a check mark then click on it again to remove the check or the little check mark and then there's a subscribe button on next to it it's like a red button click on that and then click on it again to unsubscribe and then thanks for watching the video yes this video is awkward i did not have a script this is just an update thank you guys Peace out.